Imagine standing under a night sky. It's dark and quiet. Suddenly, boom, a bright light explodes in the sky, spreading into a shower of colors, red, blue, green, gold. People cheer and point as more lights fill the air. This amazing display is called fireworks, and it's something people have enjoyed for hundreds of years. The story of fireworks begins a long time ago in China, about 2,000 years ago. At first, people there discovered that if they threw bamboo into a fire, it would explode with a loud pop. That's because bamboo has air inside, and when it gets hot, the air expands and makes the bamboo burst. These popping sounds were used to scare away evil spirits during festivals and special days. Later, Chinese inventors created gunpowder by mixing saltpeter, charcoal, and sulfur. When they stuffed this powder into hollow tubes of bamboo and lit them, it made an even bigger bang. This was the beginning of true fireworks. Around the 9th century, the Chinese began using these early fireworks for celebrations like the New Year and weddings. From China, the secret of gunpowder and fireworks slowly spread to other parts of the world. It reached the Middle East and then Europe by the 13th century. Traders and travelers carried the knowledge with them along old trade routes like the Silk Road. In Europe, fireworks became a favorite way to celebrate kings, queens, and important holidays. In the 1400s and 1500s, fireworks were mostly loud noises and small explosions. But by the 1600s, fireworks makers in Italy and other parts of Europe started to improve the colors and shapes. They added different chemicals to make red, green, blue, and yellow lights. They also designed fireworks to spin, shoot high into the sky, and burst into beautiful patterns. One of the biggest fans of fireworks was Queen Elizabeth I of England. She even created a special title for the person in charge of putting on fireworks shows. Fire Master of England. Fireworks became part of royal celebrations, and people would gather to watch in wonder as the night sky lit up. In the United States, fireworks became a symbol of freedom. On July 4, 1777, just one year after the Declaration of Independence, People celebrated the first Independence Day with fireworks in Philadelphia. They shot rockets and set off firecrackers to show their excitement. Today, fireworks are a big part of 4th of July celebrations across the country. How do fireworks actually work? Inside each firework is a shell filled with gunpowder and small bits called stars. These stars contain different metals and chemicals. When a firework is lit, a fuse carries the flame inside the shell. First it blasts into the sky. Then when the flame reaches the center, the gunpowder explodes and lights up the stars. The heat causes the metals to glow in different colors. Copper makes blue, strontium makes red, sodium makes yellow, and barium makes green. Fireworks are carefully made and tested by experts called pyrotechnicians. These experts use math, science, and art to design each show. They choose the timing, color, and type of fireworks to create a fun and safe display. Some shows are even timed to music, with each burst of light matching the beat. Fireworks are not just for holidays. They're used in parades, sports events, and big concerts. In some countries like Japan and India, fireworks are part of traditional festivals. During Diwali in India, people light fireworks to celebrate the victory of light over darkness. In Japan, summer fireworks shows draw big crowds who gather in parks and along rivers to enjoy the magic. Today, fireworks continue to amaze people of all ages. They bring joy, excitement, and beauty to the night sky. Even though they've been around for thousands of years, fireworks still feel like something special every time we see them. They remind us of how creative and curious people have always been, and how a little spark can light up the world.